Every year, the elves work overtime to make all the toys that Santa delivers to good little boys and girls around the world. But sometimes he needs a little help. That's why Santa calls on his old friend, master toy maker, Bob Whitmore. Now let's spend some time at Bob Whitmore's toy shop. Well, hi! Come on in, howdy kids! Welcome to Bob Whitmore's Toy Shop, where every day we try to kind of spruce up the place, get ready for that old Christmas, all the excitement, read a few letters to Sandy, and check in with some of the clowns we have up here, not only in the North Pole, up there where Sandy lives, but in our little suburb down here in South North Pole. Now, uh, when we come back in just a second, we're going to use uh, some Christmas tree bulbs. And we'll have fun trimming the tree. But I'll tell you what, meet me back in the workshop, but I'll be there right after this. Before we join Bob Whitmore in his workshop, here's a reminder for boys and girls. Electric tools such as saws and drills are for big folks, moms and dads, and master toy makers like Bob Whitmore. Remember, play it safe and let adults handle all big tools. Well, welcome. Welcome to the uh, toy shop here. Now... Today, we're going to work on trimming a tree. Uh, we've got a tiny uh, Christmas tree here. We can get over to here now. We've got, uh, we've got all the ornaments here. And uh, let me stand this, stand this tree up here. Let me get, that's too tall. I can't, I'm gonna have to cut some of the bottom of this tree off here. Let me get my uh, tree trimmer. Just a minute. Cut some of the bottom of this tree. It's going to make sawdust, so stand back. Now hold on here now. Oh. 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 <coughs> Let me open the door. I created quite a, <coughs> quite a bit of sawdust in here. <coughs> This other workshop door open, and I'm short some blub, bulbs. I'm short uh, Christmas bulbs. No, uh, uh, somebody's at the door there. Yes. Oh, hi, Debbie. What's up? The Internal Revenue Service is on the phone for you. The, the internal? You're not just pulling my leg. You're not trying to get me upset here after tax time. The Internal Revenue Service. Yes, sir. Did they sound angry? Quite. Ooh, well, listen, tell him, uh, tell him to hold. I'll, I'll tell you what, let me call, I'll, oh, Lord, I'll meet you up front. Go to any supermarket, warehouse store, or drug store. You'll find shelf after shelf of dietary supplements, vitamins, and other products. Now the folks at Borgia Lab say throw away the pills and the powders. Check out their new dietary supplement, the supplement to end all supplements. It's Borgia Labs Magic Mush. Yes, going back to basics, Borgia Labs has come up with the only food you'll need for a healthy life. And Borgia Labs Magic Mush isn't only for breakfast. It can be the gruel that is the tool to better health. No mixing, no powders, no blenders. Borgia Labs Magic Mush comes pre-mixed in convenient five-gallon ceramic containers. Borgia Labs Magic Mush comes in a half dozen flavors, including Harvest Time Watermelon, Crunchy Cantaloupe, Cherry Cherry, Perfectly Perfect Peach, Plain Old Vanilla, and Halibut. And only a small four-cup serving is necessary to start the wheels of health churning. Look for Borgia Labs Magic Mush at every other health food and arts and crafts store. I tell you what, let, let's ring up old Lou Philpot. Ah, uh, Philpot's toy park. Phil Philpot's toy toy building. Yes, it is. Hi there, hi. <coughs> Say, this is Master Toy Maker Robert W. Whitmore down here at the old toy shop. Well, Bob, it's always a pleasure hearing from you. You won't think so after I tell you that I've gotten shorted on another order. Oh no. Yes, I, I ordered. A uh, Sparta 50,000 watt Christmas tree bulbs? I remember it well. Yes, where are they? Well, I assume they were there. No, I haven't seen, I haven't seen delivery one. Oh my, hang, hang on a second. I've got kids out there, they need, they Dad, need... 
Fred! Uh, listen, uh, Whitmore's missing a This Sparta is like a bad dream, you know that? Christmas tree bulb 50, thing. Sparta 50,000 watt Christmas tree bulb. Uh, oh, it did? Okay. Uh, Fred, my, uh, my new warehouseman, says that they went out 11 what days ago. What happened to Bobby? Uh, well, Bobby's on vacation. This time of year? Uh, well, you know, he's got to take it now before the, uh, before the weather hits. But, uh, Fred says they went out 11 days ago. 11? I bet they were on the invoice, uh... 12.04. Yeah, 12.04. 12, I've got that right here, and they went out 11 days ago. They'll be here when, please? Uh, the guy from Atlas Truck Company says they'll be out there in 12 days. That's tomorrow. Yeah, it is. That's right. I bet you get a call from me. I'll be looking forward to it. Well, thanks, Lewis. Well, thank you, Bob, and uh, happy holidays. Happy uh, 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 holidays. Do, 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 do. Boy, there is so much mail piling up in here. Here's here's cute little letter. I like the old Dickie Rossay here. And Dickie lives in, uh... Where the hell? I can't read this. I, Dickie says he wants a Mr. Microphone. I don't know where they have any of those anymore, Dick. Mr. Microphone. Okay, let, I'm going to call down to the post office again. <laughs> South North Pole Post Office. Uh, yes, Mr. Liebisch? Yes. Hi, this is Robert W., uh, better known as Bob Whitmore, down here at the old zip code building. No, actually, that's where you are. Yeah, I'm at the I'm, zip code building. I'm here at the old toy shop. I'm right? down here at the old toy shop at, at the 1234 uh, Salisbury Lane. By golly, I've got that number memorized. I bet you do. Listen, and I, I wanted you to... We, we did so much yesterday, the day before, the day before that. I bet you want some more letters. Well, yes, I do. If you can have someone there read them to uh, me, it'd be boy, just a you real joy. Ready, able, and willing we are to read a few letters. It'd be, for you. it'd be as they say in the central part of the U.S., a real pleasure. Yeah, let me uh, turn it over to one of our expert readers. Oh, got experts down there now. Okay, uh, I got me some more letters here. Uh, okay, here goes. Your time, Swiffle Barn. This is his puppy. <laughs> Who wants to know if Santa can bring him another one? And uh, let's see. Petunia Periwinkle says that her brother tore the head off her brandy binky doll. And can Santa possibly replace that dear sweet dolly for her? I tell you what, we'll be back and uh, try to call Santa again in just a minute. You're listening to Bob Whitmore's Toy Shop on the Shrevigman Radio Network. Well, let's uh, let's give old Santa Claus a call. Good evening, the St. Nicholas residence. St. Nick? Oh, Santa Claus. Yes, I'm sorry. Hi yes, there. in the vernacular, it would be Santa Claus. Yes, I'm this old Bob Whitmore out here. How you doing, Bob? Oh, I assure you the pleasure is entirely mine. Listen, I'd like for you, if we could, we've been having trouble all week getting through to Santa. Could you put him on the line for me? Just tell him old Bob's calling. Mm. Whitmore? Yes, Robert W. Whitmore. Now try to put that call through. Yeah, it's like pulling teeth. Two, two, three, three, six, five, two, six, five, five, two. Is being changed. Two. The new number may not yet be connected. What? Santa Claus a new? Why, this is unheard of. Well, I'll, we'll try again next time, kiddos. Remember to join us again when it's time again for another visit to Bob Whitmore's Toy Shop. Bob Whitmore's Toy Shop is heard only on the Shrevigman Radio Network and only on this YouTube channel. <laughs>